Welcome back. We have Kim Brunton here from Skin Catering, yes. lead esthetician, and what is the other title? Co formulator. Co formulator. <laughs> okay, so we got to find Explain out what that. that. Yes. Yeah, right off the bat. Oh uh, <laughs> well, Leanne is the actual chef in the uh, whole process of putting everything together. But I tell Leanne what should go into what? She clarified. I you know, tell Leanne. <laughs> well, you, you, you know, if you want an eye cream, then you need to have certain elements, elements to, to it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that so, makes um, sense. And just to be clear. Um, Kim works with Leanne yes, our, at Skin Catering, at Skin Catering yeah. our segment uh, host over there. And uh, it's so nice to have you and taking Thanks. the time to, and I know you had to rearrange some things yes. at the last minute to, <laughs> to get you. you on the show. So we are very, very <laughs> excited good. about yeah. uh, the tips and things that you are going to bring to us. And today. I was saying beforehand that you actually do my facials. I and do. I love, love your I facials. Do. Tell us a little bit about what you do and... It looks How like you make the, the process. Magic happen. Or, do you have different types of facials, or what's like the most common? We do. Every, common? every facial at Skin Catering is custom to the client's needs. Yep. So you could come in and say that you want to have this done, but I'm going to look at your skin and say, well, first and foremost, we need to get this done. We need to achieve this. Which you've done to me before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, maybe you can't maybe one. Yes. You need maybe this. one. It's almost like going to store um, and be like, oh, but I want good. this dress, I love it. but it only comes in a size two. Yeah. 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 a size four, but I want this dress. <laughs> and but I want to squeeze myself squeeze into it. it yes. but, <laughs> so yeah. it's the same thing where it's like some people may want a certain thing done to their skin, but it may not be the but best for their skin. Yes. yes. Oftentimes they hear terms out in the media, and mm -hmm. they want they come in and they want you know what the latest fad is. Well, that latest fad may not always be what your skin needs right mm -hmm. now. Okay. So we're very basic, very back to basic. Mm -hmm. um, I look at your skin. I teach you how to cleanse your skin. I teach you how to exfoliate your skin. Which, in order to have a nice glow and a fresh look to your skin, you have to exfoliate mm. on a regular basis. And that's because you're removing all the dead skin all the cells. De we're sloughing off all now, the dead cells. I'm obviously I'm a mom of three. Um, I work, you know, the show, I have a full-time job. I mean, ugh, when it comes to like expensive dealing with that skincare. in the morning or expensive, you know, or, or process, you know, there's some, right. some, um, you know, estheticians that I've gone to and they're, and they're, you know, at the end, cause I'm like, wow, my faith feels great. But it's like, okay, this is one and this is two and this is three and this is four. And I'm like, I got to do that every day. There's seven different <laughs> it's processes the same bottle. and it's $400. Right, yeah. <laughs> so what is like the process of exfoliating? What can you sort of elaborate as to what mm -hmm. an exfoliation actually means? Because I think I've also gotten confused about what that term was. Sure. So exfoliating is the technical term is sloughing of the dead cells off huh. of your skin. What we see is all dead. You, um, you want to make sure that your skin is clear. However, you can't over exfoliate because you need those cells for protection. Think of a baby's bottom. Think of a baby's mm. face and how plump and how fresh and mm. how lovely it is. Mm. No, <laughs> yeah, I wish no, I could. It's true. It's, true. it's yeah. beautiful. It you just want to kiss is. it and touch it. Yeah. yeah. That's a good example. Um, there's no dead cells on that, obviously. Mm. That fetus had been living in beautiful, right. hydrated, right. you know, <laughs> environment for nine months. If we could all do that, then we would all look like and that. You actually always warn me when I leave, like we took a lot off today. What yeah. do you mean by that? I mean, I know, but it would be great for the viewers to. Uh, you, it's very easy to over exfoliate with all the products now, um, with exfoliators and the cleanser and the toner and the moisturizer. It's very easy and it's very dangerous to over exfoliate. Mm. You need some form of dead cell on your skin to protect it. From the sun and other You would elements, never right? in a million years think to take that beautiful baby with the lovely skin out in the sun I really like without example. any, yeah. right, without any protection. Yeah. So what would you use to exfoliate? Like, you know, there's some people I know who use soap. There's some people I know who use, I you don't want to mention certain product names, but right. um, you know, products that are on the shelf, you know, they've been around for years. Like, how or what should they use to exfoliate? Should they use a washcloth? Should they use their hands? Mm. Should Everybody's skin is different. Mm -hmm. For example, Leanne can't even use a washcloth on her face because mm. she breaks out from it. Mm. Then there are other women who could use a scrub brush sure. on their face and not even be pink. Um, so everybody needs to find their basic um, means of exfoliation. Mm -hmm. Yogurt is my favorite yes, means. Really? Yogurt yeah, is my yeah. favorite yeah. means. Like there is after trick. you wash your face, you after put you yogurt cleanse on your it? face, yes. exactly. This would be great to do with the kids. Sheesh, beer, yogurt, what next? <laughs> I, know, I know, but it's a good. It actually has a tingly feeling and it eats away the bacteria, yeah. right? It Which absolutely does. Incredible. Yeah, it's got an, so, a live active culture in it. You can eat it while you're doing. No, I'm just and you can eat it while you're doing <laughs> yeah, it. All you need is a little teaspoon for my face, like non-fat. 
You want live cultures. You That's want live really cultures. Basic. So you can use anything from sour cream to whole cream, which is a great exfoliant when you're in the bath. Mm -hmm. A half a cup of whole cream in a regular bathtub. Beautiful exfoliant. You come oh. out so, so soft. So really it's just sour cream? Sour cream. That's wow. so cool. So there's that live active culture in there that just eats away and Wow. wow. And now what about what are some of the other services that you do for the just to protect the skin and for our people at home to keep the skin overall healthy? What are some of the other tips you recommend? Oh, uh, I love um, no hot water on the face. Okay. That oh, is so right. dehydrating to your skin. Okay, good to know. It's I just so feel bad. Nice. I know. I know. Ne and never let that hot water coming out of the shower actually hit your face. Really? Yes. It's no. not a good situation at all. Turn around. I'm a junkie. I'll be the first person to tell you. It took me a long time to. Because it feels so nice. It yeah. feels so good and it's so relaxing. The yeah. massage on your face is so relaxing. But if you turn around and let it hit your shoulders and leave your face alone, it's going to help with um, any sort of sagging. Wow. Oh, okay. okay. That's reason but enough not like to do puffy it. puffy eyes <laughs> type of situation. Cool. Always cool with, with the puffiness. Yeah. Um, any sort of irritation. So if you're if you have a pimple and it's red, don't steam it and squish it. Put some ice on it, cool mm. it down, see where that goes, and then take a good look, step back, and then try to extract you know, and it. And it's just so right. hard to just you don't want to get it off your skin. Well, you want to treat yeah, it like exactly. an injury. Yeah. You want to yeah, treat it true. like a, anything red on your body. If you get it. You know, if you get hurt, you want to That's treat it true. like an injury. But these are good tips. Some, like you said, are hard to sort of, you get into this, you know, routine of doing certain things. Well, and you're busy and things yeah. like that. But you right. have it's to be beneficial. Time. Stay away from hot right. water. Yeah. Like, you know, be sensitive to your skin, not scrubbing it too much and over right. exfoliating Pay it. Pay attention. And using yeah. like yogurts and things like that. Easy, yeah. to Easy products at home. Easy products yeah. that you have at home. We're going to have to have you back to do well, an actual facial on. <gasps> yes. That would be great. That would be, that would be really fun. That, that would be great. Do that. One quick and major thing, if we can make it quick. Melanoma. What is like? Do you find that on people? I'm sure in your line of field, they teach it into. It, they teach it at school, right? They taught it at our school mm -hmm. okay, when good. we were in aesthetic school. Um, they teach you the importance of identifying one too, in mm -hmm. case you do happen to run across one. Okay, that's um, awesome. That's awesome to know. And due to the types of skin cancers that there are, there's different kinds. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's basal often cells and right like that. Um, squamous, basal, and melanoma. Okay. So oftentimes they present themselves and people are trying to pick at something. Mm. It looks like a pimple mm -hmm. and it's not. Yeah. So, you know, they'll come in and they'll say, you know, I've had this for two months and I can't get rid of it. What right. is it? And I say, well, I Head think, to the yeah. <laughs> I think this, you know, I, I, and I oftentimes say, start with your GP. Sure. Yeah. And so sure. not to alarm somebody. Yes. Right. Um, Cause I was going to say, you have to be sensitive to that, but you do want to, you know, mention it to them, to whether they're right. coming to you with something or you noticing something yes. on it. Right. So yeah. that is good that you do identify it, that you were taught it, because yeah. our Absolutely. Is education, Absolutely. and that you handle it. Well, That's again, right. it was just so awesome to we have you on the show, and we definitely. will definitely have Kim back <laughs> Thank to you. do a live facial using that yogurt and some other home products that might be helpful. Yeah. But um, we have something for Kim. Oh, we do, yes, we have a little oh, gift yeah, here. Yeah, for you. We always give our, our Thank yes, you so I much guess, because we are so Thank grateful. You. you know, it's just you know a little token of our appreciation for Yay. your knowledge and for your time. So yeah. definitely, and um, stay tuned for Leanne. We'll be right back.